So do I want my art to stand on its own or do I want to have explanation with that art? Um, I think that for me, it really depends on what I'm creating first and foremost. So if I'm running around with my iPhone and Instagram and, <laughs> you know, taking a picture of my food, it's one thing versus uh, if, I, if I'm walking down the street and um, I, see, uh, I see somebody of interest. Um, so... What I, what I believe is this. I said earlier that I believe the shortest distance between two people is a well-told story. Um, I think in this day and age, um, when it comes to capturing story or capturing art, what we tend to do is we create um, out of passion and out of uh, kind of a personal uh, struggle or personal um, passion. And I think that uh, for me, I like my art in most cases to be up for interpretation, um, unless it's something that is extremely explicit. So for instance, um, I spend a lot of time talking to people, and I love hearing other people tell their stories more than I like telling mine. Um, I like being behind the camera rather than being in front of the camera like this. Um, but I believe that in this day and age, we have a short attention span. We have, we listen with a quarter of an ear. We don't see the rest of the story. And um, I look at telling someone's story, someone's, someone's story is holy. Um, it, whether it's captured with a camera, a uh, still camera, or a video camera, capturing that image, um, I wanna do my best to capture them in a light that is going to reflect them and reflect God and how God made that them. So I spend a lot of time getting very intimate with each and every person because in those details, in those intimate moments, you see brilliance. You see where they normally would not let you in if you're just walking down the street and you just say, hey, tell me your story. You tell a story to a, somebody that you know, your best friend, your parents. Um, those intimate details are revealed there. And so in, that, in those moments, I spend a lot of time trying to make sure that I can get everything that I can out of the individual and then try to make sure that it reflects Christ in those moments. So in that case, I really like to make sure that it reflects and gives a Christian worldview. On the other hand, I can tell you that depend on my, depending on my inspiration, um, I really want to be ab abstract with it, um, and depending on the photography, right now I'm in this process of doing what I call focus grams. And the concept behind that is really looking at the beauty of an object and the way that the creator of that object, whether it be a water tower or a person, was intended to be viewed as. So there's a lot of negative space. It's mainly black and white. Black and white because I like to, re I think black and white reveals soul and, um, and personality. And so in those cases, I like to, I, li I have a whole running list of those and I like to have those as being one part of the conversation of what does that mean to you? But then have this other conversation with a deeper, uh, story that points people to Christ.